Okay, what is the radius of curvature of a concave mirror that has a focal length of 2.5 cm? Okay, so uh, here he asked for the radius of curvature. Yeah? Radius of curvature means uh, R uh, for, for what? For concave mirror. Uh, and this is a mirror. Yeah? This is a mirror. Okay, and then he asks, uh, uh, he give you the focal length. Okay, so how to find the radius of curvature? Okay, before that, I want to tell you one thing. We have learned about um, mirror and thin lens. How to find the focal length? How to find the focal length for mirror? How to find the focal length for thin lens? Uh, what's the difference? Okay, so uh, in mirror, we learn, uh, for example, we have concave mirror. Concave mirror means like, for example, this is an object here. Uh, and this mirror is concave to the object. So it looks like this. Uh, this is a concave mirror. Right? Okay. Um, so the... Uh, it, uh, this one, this, this one, the mirror only has one surface, okay? Only has one surface, so it only has one radius. Uh, it only has one radius, so I can say the center of curvature for maybe uh, center of curvature for this surface should be around, should be oh, at the left hand side, okay? And uh, this is the radius, okay? This is the radius. Uh, wait a second. Uh, this is the radius, and then um, we uh, the focal length is uh, the focal point is over here. Uh, uh, the focal length is half of the radius. Okay. Uh, so, um, okay. So to find the focal length of the mirror. Uh, we just use the radius divided by 2. Uh, this focal length is just radius divided by 2. Okay, very simple. Because only has, uh, the mirror only has one, uh, one surface. But thin lens, it has two surfaces. Okay, uh, this one, uh, mirror only has one surface. So it only has a uh, one radius, uh, only has uh, one radius R. That's all, okay. But thin lens it has two surface, two surfaces. So it has uh, R one and R two. Okay, how does it look like? How does the thin lens look like? Yeah. So let me draw it out. Thin lens uh, should be let's say a convex le convex lens, a biconvex lens. Uh, this is the one okay so uh, okay so this this thin lens it has two surfaces i can say it has two surfaces uh, let's say if the object is uh, over here at the left hand side uh, so you know the the light the light comes uh, from from the object the incident ray and then refracted and then refracted ray okay so um, the surface the surface where the incident ray enter is the first surface and then the the other surface where the refracted ray are going out is the second surface All right let me drag this a little bit down yeah uh, yeah over here okay uh, just uh, what is, okay let me tidy up okay that's it um so uh this thin lens uh, is different from mirror it has this thin lens has two surfaces so it, ha it will have two radius two radius of curvature okay so this one is the first surface and the next one is the second surface okay 
So uh, the first surface, the center of curvature will be uh, the center of curvature will be over here. Uh, yeah, the center of curvature it will be over here. And this uh, okay. Uh, this is the center curvature for for the surface one, and the radius will be uh, where's the radius? The radius, uh, the radius will be this one. Uh, this is R one, radius one. Okay, and then for the second surface, the center curvature, center curvature will be at the left hand side. Yeah, uh, maybe over here. Uh, C two, and then the radius uh, will be. Which color should I use? Uh, maybe should a green, green one. Okay, uh, so the radius of curvature is this one. Uh, this is uh, R2. Do you see that? Uh, so, thin lens has two surfaces. So, uh, both has their own radius. Okay, like this surface surface is radius 1. Second surface is radius 2. Uh, so, can we find the focal length using the same formula as mirror? Can we also say that oh, F is equal to or oh, since uh, which one? Uh, should I use R1 divided by 2 or uh, R2 divided by 2? Ah, see, it has two radius. So, it cannot just divide by 2. Uh, like that. It's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. Ah. So, to find the focal length for thin lens, we have a, we have a special formula. We call it uh, the lens maker equation. Lens maker, oops, lens maker equation, uh, which is uh, F equal to, you know, N2 over N1 minus 1. Uh, and then uh, 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. Okay, uh, le let me clarify something. This N2 is the N for the lens. Uh, this N1 is the N of the medium. Okay, if you refer to the notes, ah, this is N material divided by N medium. Okay, so uh, the lens, uh, this is the lens and N1 is the medium. Okay, so but that's not our focus. Our focus is, I want you to pay attention to the, to find the focal length uh, for mirror and focal length for thin lens. They are different. Uh, so for mirror, it only has one radius. Uh, only has one radius. Why it only has one radius? Because it only has one surface. Uh, one surface, only one radius. So to find the focal length for mirror, very simple, just R the over 2. But for thin lens, it has two surfaces. So you will have two surfaces, you will have two radius, R1 and R2. So you cannot use the same, cannot use the same formula from mirror, R over 2 to find the focal length. Uh, yeah, cannot. So it has a special formula called lens maker equation, uh, which is this formula where you can see there are two radius here, R1 and R2. Uh, R1 and R2. So this lens maker equation will have uh, will include two radius, R1 and R2, to find the focal length for the thin lens. Ah, you see that? It has two radius. To find the focal length of thin lens so that's the difference okay so uh, for this question very simple uh, it only because mirror only has uh, one radius one radius so uh, you can find focal length easily yeah just r over 2 so but now this one is um, you know inverted the, the is uh, the other way yeah it asks it give you the focal length ask you to find the radius so uh, very simple, we can do this. So we just use this formula, okay? Uh, it gives you the focal length 2.5 centimeter, okay? 2.5 centimeter 
uh, equal to I want to find radius for focal uh, for concave mirror. Uh, so R will be equal to uh, five centimeter. Uh, five centimeter. Okay, so that's the answer. Uh, so um, I just want to emphasize that mirror has two radius. Very simple to find the focal length for mirror. But for thin lens, it has two surfaces. It has two radius, R1 and R2. So you need to le use lens maker equation, which involve R1 and R2 to find the focal length of thin lens. Uh, okay, this one only got R. This one got R1 and R2 to find the focal length. That's the difference between mirror and thin lens. Be careful. Okay, that's all. Bye.